And hold on, Mass Ghost. Oh, so I have to read it. Well, fa- I guess I'm going to have to read it. Fine, I copied and pasted some of it. Enjoy, Ghost. Uh, Ghost then said to me, after all this time, these long, unwinded, godforsaken time, I finally found you. I started to get a little nervous as the last time I saw Ghost, I left him to get hit by a train back on the train tracks. Jesus Christ. A ghost continued to say, I've been looking for you everywhere I went. I couldn't find you until today. My body was starting to shake as my eyes remained wide. My mind was wondering what was going to happen as ghosts remained in the shadows, talking to me and and the guys, uh, but specifically towards me. But the guys, on the other hand, they stood there a bit confused as to who ghost was. So I was the odd one out that knew that what was going on while the guys remained in the dark ghost continued to tell me you have left me on the train tracks alone and forgotten he had said it in such a way that sounded like he wanted revenge that he was going to give me a beating of a lifetime and that i was going to get it but come on it was a joke all a big joke can we just laugh at it and 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 laugh it all off uh, yeah, uh, ha, 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 whatever the fuck that means. But I remained shaky where I stood, not sure what to do if he had made a move towards me. Ghost continued to say to me, when I saw you, even for the first time, I knew I found it. I knew I finally found the golden jackpot to find the right one to play with. I started to sweat a little bit. The way, excuse me, the way how he didn't finish his sentence and him metaphorically giving me three dots was like gripping a cliffhanger to me, leaving me on edge of wondering what was going to come next from him. Will it be words or force to be reckoned with? Then TK wasn't around to help me out of this, uh, out if shit went south. So it was just me and the guys, and I wasn't sure if I could handle it, Uh, If it was too much trouble that occurred, but Ghost finished his little talk, finished... Dude, how long is this shit? Uh, But Ghost finished his little talk and finished his cliffhanger to me and said, Now I get to play with you, to toy with you. Let me ask you, are you ready? Dude, I don't want to read this shit. This is fucking stupid, dude. Uh... Are you ready to play the game? The game of, and then Ghost paused for effect. He was teasing all of us with the guys, just looking confused and waiting for Ghost to finish his talk. Jack looked a little annoyed because it was eating up his time to collect money from his little toll scam business that he had started. Dude, this is horrible writing, by the way. And Neon was still smiling like a psychopath, like always, but still... But for me, it was a tease the most of all. Oh, God. I'd buy that for and there's dollar. British Ron. Oh dear. oh, dear. I seem to have spotted a cunt. Oh, Good sh- day. Anyway, and waiting for what Ghost was going to finish off with, what was his message to me was killing me on the inside. Dude, you need to learn how to write, dude. Seriously. Uh, I couldn't hold it in anymore. I was starting to get scared. What was I going to do? What would happen to me? A lot of stuff was going through my head, but Ghost, he remained pause in his words for a few seconds. Uh, Then Ghost finally spoke up and said with a surprise upbeat tone, as all of us around him, everything changed into bright, beautiful colors, and Ghost's face lit up. Guess the minority! Okay. (laughs) This is retarded. Uh, Ghost said with such a happy and enthusiastic tone in his voice as he spread his right arm full with 180 as as to the right of him, stuff appeared. The stuff, three podiums with a red button, all of them, a big scoreboard with another board that was a sign with a bright, small, little light bulbs that spelled the word, guess the minority. All while the game show music theme played, what sounded like a big band started to play from out of nowhere, somewhere in the background that sounded oddly like Price is Right theme song, very loudly, I might add. (laughs) 
And it came from the sky, and I looked up. It just appeared in thin air. I don't know. Maybe Ghost had some Pegasi drop it like the bombs from Japan and into that exact area at the right time. We weren't paying attention. Even when looking back, it makes no sense. But yet it appeared like if we had just stepped onto a set all the while the engineer came walking on the set clapping continuously saying yay still wearing his yellow workers hat and blue overall jeans <sighs> fucking mass ghost by the way all right figuratively <laughs> is all i, I gotta say for a hey, hold on we got shadow luigi here what's going on with shadow luigi put the pc shot on shadow luigi said here's a, a short tweet i found you should look at when you get it Stop doing this, okay? You fucking dumb dickheads. I'm not going to honor these anymore, dude. I'm serious. I'm, I, hey, go look at this. Go. I'm not going to honor this fucking bullshit. I'm not even kidding. All right? I'm not even kidding around. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Dude, what the what the hell is this? Lucille's bacon cookies. Oh, God. All right, dude. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> You people are sick, dude. You people are sick. You people are fucking sick. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, what do I what am I supposed to say to something like that, dude? I mean, seriously, what the fuck am I supposed to say to some bullshit like that? All right, let's get to the next video, Dodo. This one was requested by J Money9629. And J Money9629 said start at 340. Okay, that's all he said. Start at 340. So let's go ahead and do it. Ah, oh, dude, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm going to have... This is obviously not Jay Money. This is obviously some fucking jerk off that's making me sign into my fucking YouTube account, and it's probably something fucking ridiculous. So uh, hold on just a second. Let me just make sure that... Uh, okay, I just want to make sure... Oh, God. How much did How much did they pay for this? How much did they pay for this? Five beers. Okay, fucking th four minutes of this stupid fucking garbage, all right? Jesus Christ. Put the PC shot on. Viewer discretion is advised, dude, is all I got to say. All right, viewer discretion is advised. Good God. I have no idea what this is. I've got the sensor image ready. You see the sensor image there? I got, I got it ready. What is this? This is an animation, obviously, right? Uh, okay. Dude, what the hell am I watching here? Is this a video game? Is this some kind of animation of sorts? I mean, if this is a game, this are pretty good graphics. Okay, what the hell is this? This better not be something fucking obscene, dude. I'm not kidding around. You called? Yeah, uh... Could you drop a package with a rope to my location? Consider it done, sugar. How long do you need it to be? Let's What? See. Probably about... 200 feet? Very well. That will be 8,000 credits. Wait, what? Why is it so expensive? What the hell is this crap? It's a rope! An artificially scarce one. All right, the dialogue Fine. is already lame. Just make sure it actually lands the on my position. The dialogue is already time. lame. Most certainly. I've issued an airdrop containing a rope to your current location. You can track your order via the airdrop tracker that is built into your radar. The estimated time of delivery of your package is three days. Thank you for shopping with us. Wait, what? Three days? I need it now. Dude, what the fuck? Hello? Dude, you know, Are you I still look, there? Pause this. This is what I don't like about independent, like, animations. 
They don't know how to write a storyline for shit. Okay, great. They may know how to, like, you know, animate some crap. I mean, this is ridiculous, dude. All right? It's ridiculous. (sighs) Hold on. Oh, remember to start at three. What? 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 Oh, God. I was supposed to start at 340. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God, no. Probably need your help getting down this cliff. Oh, my God, no. Sure. Here. Get in my mouth. Ah! Come on now. I'm sure you can just grab me. With my mouth. With your hand. But what if I really want you in my mouth? I'm sure fucking sure sick ass furries, end. man. You With freaky little fucking furries, belly. for Christ's sake! Wouldn't you want I'm that tired too? of you furries. You're perverts. Um, you'd have you're, to give uh, me good motivation to go in there. Uh, Wait, dude. What the fuck, uh, dude? Zoe. Wow. You actually have two hands. Why do you keep eating my stuff? Mm. You know that I just want to spend time with you. Oh my Silly god, boy. dude. That's not an excuse! But... You do? Yes. Now come here, scrumptious. Uh, oh. ah, ah, take it on and censor that shit! Oh, oh, no, no, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Are we at the end? Are we at the end, dude? Wait! Have we settled on a safe word yet? Um. Oh, dude. Will we need one? Probably. I'd prefer to. Oh my god, dude. Um. Dude, what the fuck am I watching, dude? Scrump muffin? Alright, dude. I guess that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Alright, I, I get this shit out of here. I can't I can't deal with this shit. This is mm. fucked up. This is you fucked put up on the fucking bullshit. Like so much. You know I yeah. Alright, I'm done. I can't, on, I can't I right? can't I can't take this take this off. <sighs> take this shit off. Take it off, dude. Alright, anyway, uh I don't know if that was the real J money or not. But that was fucked up, and that was fucking gross. All right? I don't know if you think you're so fucking cute or whatever the fuck, but that was fucking disgusting. How dare you fucking donate that shit? All right? How fucking dare you? Uh, Anyway, we are... uh, What is this? Oh, Viking Kyle requested this next one. And Viking Kyle, uh, don't fucking post any links outside of YouTube, okay? Because I, 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 the only reason I'm going on Goyam TV is because I've already been there once, and I, 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 I that's the only reason why. And I was only, I was only there for research purposes only. Okay, I was only there for research purposes only because Goyam TV came to San Antonio and started passing out all kinds of disgusting, despicable, anti-Semitic material in the Jewish community here in San Antonio, Texas, and. Uh, you know, that guy, Handsome Truth, uh, was out here harassing a bunch of Jewish people, and uh, I had to look into it. I had to do some re- you know, some research, and uh, so that's that's the way it is. So anyway, here's, uh, here's Viking Kyle and his video. Uh, here it is, Viking Kyle. P- put the PC shot on. What is this, Viking Kyle? Oh, yeah, let me read what you said, by the way, uh, so that... Okay, it says, um, you said, hey, ghost... Uh, what's, what is this list of names? Seems important to note before everyone forgets all about it because now Putin is scarier than Hitler. So let's go ahead and take a look at what, uh, what he's got in store for us here. Viking Kyle, play it. Here it is. Hey, big story. Somebody passed around a flyer accurately describing all the players and the names of all the Jewish people that are involved in this conspiracy to destroy our families and our life with this COVID vaccine. And they printed it up and they accurately named the names CDC Director Rochelle Walensky, CDC Deputy Director and Shalit or whatever, uh, CDC's Chief of Staff. I can't really read it all. Sherry Berger, CDC, that's all Jews. Uh, uh, COVID czars, Jeff Zenitz, uh, uh, Look, Pfizer, uh, uh, pause this, pause BlackRock this. CEO. I, I want to say this right off the bat, okay? I don't condone this. 
Uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, this is Viking Kyle, who obviously believes in this. Uh, this is not what I believe in, all right? I happen to have a whole bunch of friends that happen to be Jewish and Israeli. Uh, the Jewish people are very good people, uh, so I just want to put that on the record, okay? All right, now, I'm not Jewish, all right? I know people are going to say, oh, Ghost, you're fucking Jewish. I'm not Jewish, all right? I use yarmulkes for coffee filters, but I refuse to uh, endorse this here, all right? Vanguard CEO, it's Jews that are running this operation. This COVID operation I is this. A- pause this, all right? Look, stop. Uh, you know, I'm a shekel slave. I'm going to do that after this fucking stupid video by goddamn Viking Jewish Kyle, conspiracy right? to destroy Goyams. Okay, so here's the news story. Uh, in the Pasadena and Beverly Hills Police Department are investigating after approximately 200 flyers containing Shut anti-Semitic up. theories. It's containing the names of the CEOs of Pfizer. How is that an anti-Semitic theory? It's exactly, it's a fact. I've said this a thousand times. When facts are by default accused of being anti-Semitic, it's not the fact that's the problem. It's the Jews that are the problem, obviously. Okay. I uh, look. We're distributing. I, I, uh, I just want to reiterate. I do not condone this. Mark Vaughn or the Vaughn dot live uh, company doesn't. Uh, you know, we, they don't condone this. This is courtesy of fucking Viking Kyle. Uh, Venture frustration at that fucking guy if you don't like what you're hearing, okay? All right. I happen to have a whole bunch of friends that happen to be Jewish, okay? Lachaim, all right? Uh, 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 Saturday night and Sunday morning, according to Pasadena uh, police spokesman Lisa uh, Derridan and a statement from the Beverly Hills City Council. Jews. It's all Jews over there. Okay. The Flyers, which uh, began by claiming that every single aspect of the COVID agenda is Jewish. Yes. Truthful. Were discovered just before midnight in the southwest part of Beverly Hills. Dude, shut up! Investigation. I don't condone this shit. Shut the fuck up. Vaughn doesn't condone this shit. Shut up! Hey, I bet you if there was a Flyer saying Christians are involved in this or that... And somebody said, well, well, what are you going to do, the police department? Are you going to investigate? The police department say, it's not a police matter. These are just flyers. If it was Buddhists uh, on those flyers saying, oh, look at this. Look what these Buddhists are doing. Uh, and somebody said, well, I'm a Buddhist. Could you investigate police, please? The police would say, ma'am, this is a free country. People are allowed to have flyers. Oh, I, I get it, though. Because you're sucking Jew dick and this whole country Whoa! is structured around Whoa! sucking on Jew dick hey, power. Hey, suck- hold on, Scuff Mickey Rourke. Hold on. Calm your fucking tits there, okay? Come on, dude. Just calm your ass down. And by the way, I'm looking at this guy's, uh, his nostrils. Uh, is, are, is this guy Jewish? I'm, uh, never mind. Just play it. Sucking play it. on Jew power. Just play it. Oh, my God! Somebody put flyers out with accurate, truthful uh, information about all the Jews that are involved into dismantling our society. And so now all of a sudden, all the police, we're going to go into action. We're investigating anybody with any information. Okay, so test it. Put a flyer out with Buddhist names on it. And everybody go, the cops will be like, what? Buddhist, who cares? This country is a bunch of cuckolds. Whoa. (laughs) It's a country of cuckolds. Sucking Jew dick. Whoa, 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 whoa. I say everybody Calm do down. more flyers. Let's let's come up with a flyer uh, competition, all right? Uh, design the perfect flyer. I'm not saying this is necessarily the perfect flyer. I haven't really looked at it. But let's have a design competition for the perfect flyer. And let's print them out in mass and show these fucking cocksuckers. That they could go fuck themselves and that you can, what are you going to do uh, with a fly? L- look at what it says at the bottom. It says, anyone with information, especially someone who captured video evidence uh, using Ring, uh, Google Ring, right? Or another security camera is asked to call the pa- Pasadena Police Department at 626-744-4241. Where's my phone? I'll call these fucking douchebags right now and ask them. Are what the you hell kidding are you going to do? What are you going to do if you uh, get information? Yeah, I'll give him a call. Are you Fucking kidding me? Fucking cocksuckers. Six He's going to give him a call. 
four two four one. Come on, man. This guy seems a little effeminate, no offense. But that seems to be prevalent within the white nationalist groups for some reason. I have no idea. Hence, Nick Fuentes. Yes, I'm calling about the uh, anti-Semitic uh, flyers that were distributed in Pasadena and Beverly Hills. And uh, a news item said that police would uh, like to get somebody to call if they have any information. Okay. Yeah. What exactly would the course of action of the police department be should somebody call with information? I mean, as far as I know, it's it's legal to put out um, flyers about pretty much anything unless it's got like maybe illegal pornography or something. What would be the what would be their course of action, actually? Let me transfer you over to a sergeant. Give me one moment. Okay. Yeah, here, here comes the bureaucrat. Well, let me transfer you. It's not my department. Fucking bureaucrats. Stop COVID-19 with the three W's. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was the <laughs> ring hold? You have reached the Pasadena Police Department Field Operations Sergeant's Office. Of course. If you have an emergency, please hang up and dial 911 immediately. If you are requesting a police response on a call for service, please press zero now. <laughs> I'd buy all right, that all right, hold on just a second. Look, stop donating, dude. All right, stop donating. I'm going to take a look at your donation in a second. We're let me we'll let this play for another minute here. Passing please. Hello? Yes, I'm calling about the anti-Semitic flyers that were distributed in Pasadena and Beverly Hills. Somebody put me on to uh, the sergeant in charge, but uh, I just it just went to a message machine. Are okay. you the person I spoke to earlier? Yeah, so that means that they're not in their office right now. I can have them call you, sir. I'm a dispatcher, so I don't know how they're going to go about it. Right. I don't have the answer for you. Yeah. Um, I can have them give you a call. Uh, yeah. Uh, is there a time when they... Are they just not at their desk, or they're not in today, or... No. Yeah, we don't have any desk officers or sergeants. They always work in the field. So it's just whenever they come back... Bullshit. There, they're, they're we don't, we, they we return, don't have any fucking... Is there a chance I could leave a message jockey on the message officers. machine? Bullshit. Did it give you that option by chance? It did I not. No. Them? No, it did then, not. No. Then they don't have that option. Oh, right. my um, God. I'm a little... I, I just I find it astonishing that they would care that somebody put out a, a flyer, no matter what information it has. The flyer All right. accurately. All right. we, we let this go for six hour, or six minutes and forty uh, six seconds. And look, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want Vaughn dot live to get in trouble. I want everybody to realize that uh, you know we're a melting pot of friendship out here. And uh, yeah, that's uh, you know it, it, it is what it is. All right. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get to Big Capitalist Daddy here. Uh, Big Capitalist Daddy donated this and said, uh, want to laugh your ass off? Uh, yeah, let's take a look at how we're going to laugh our asses off, courtesy of Big Capitalist Daddy. All right, here it is, Big Capitalist Daddy. Let's go ahead and do this. Put the PC shot on. Let's laugh our asses. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. I got to fucking, I got to, I got to sign into this. I don't like it, dude. I just I don't like it when I have to sign in and shit, dude. I don't like that one bit. All right. Oh, okay. This is worth it. This is actually worth it. All right. Uh, put the PC shot on. This is actually an old viral video of a man slapping the soul out of a black woman. I'm not even joking around. This man slaps the soul out of this bitch. There it is. <laughs> Courtesy of Big Capitalist Daddy. What the fuck? Just watch. You got these loudmouth black bitches. And they try to get violent. And that was a mistake. Here we go. Here we go. This is ridiculous. I don't do when you get mad. You sound stupid. I 
gotta, I gotta see that again. I gotta see that again. I gotta see it one more again. Oh! 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 Oh, it never gets old, dude. It never gets old. He's slapping everybody. <laughs> One more time. I'm sorry. One more time. I gotta do it one more time. Where is it? Here. Oh, we missed it. All right, all right. Here it is. Here it is. One more time. One more time. I'm sorry. One more time. One more time. One more time. Oh my God. I want. I want that as my ringtone, man. I want that as my fucking. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Take that cha cha! Take that bitch! Take that cha cha! Oh my god! All right, that's enough. <laughs> that shit never gets old, dude. I'm sorry. I just, I that was a good one. Okay. Hey, big capitalist daddy. Yeah, wanna laugh your ass off? It never gets old, dude. It never fucking gets old. Anyway, let's continue here. We've got uh, the next video dono was requested by Ard Hammond. And Ard Hammond said, the process of turning into a ghost show viewer. So that's Ard Hammond. Supposedly the process of turning... Oh, you fucking piece of shit, Ard Hammond. Dude, Ard Hammond, you really are a piece of crap. I mean, I, I, I hope you know when you look in the mirror that you are legitimately like a troll. Like, I'm not just talking about like one figuratively on the internet. You are physically a fucking troll. You, you are physically the embodiment of a fucking troll in like some weird Dungeons and Dragons game somewhere. Yeah, the process of becoming a ghost show viewer. Fuck you, dude. Play this shit. Male to female transgender transition timeline. You fucking asshole. You fucking son of a bitch. Oh, my God. I open my eyes. My earliest memory of experiencing gender dysphoria. Hold on. Hey, hey, tranny, I didn't get to fucking read it, you fuck. When I was six years old. Six years old? Six years old, you know what? You were learning how to use the potty, and you looked at that wiener and were like, I don't like that. I just want a hole. Get the fuck oh, out of Get the, the fuck out of here. My lungs Get the fuck suffer. out of here. I I, uh, oh, okay, great. You wore uh, a fucking Snow White dress, okay? Okay, great. You're a dumb, stupid kid. You don't know shit, Okay. You don't know anything about sexuality, and if you do, well, then, you know, somebody molested you, is all I'm saying. All right, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'll wash up, trot up a storm drain, and into a I felt embarrassed and wrong when I got caught wearing it by my mom and my sister. I'm a huge fan of Snow White. Hold on, what the fuck did you say? I'm a huge fan of Snow White, and when I was a child, I also loved girl cartoons. How does that make you someone who le legitimately wants to look like a woman and get fucked like a bitch? I, I, I just, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Five hundred years. Okay, okay. Now I get it. It's an ugly kid. That's an ugly boy. And this person's probably like growing up like, I'm an ugly fucking kid. You know, I'm an ugly fucking piece of trash. But you know what? If I throw some makeup on, I take some, you know, I don't know, fucking whatever, estrogen and, you know, get some titties and wear a dress, uh, you know, somebody may want, you know, to have some attention with me. I think that's what this is all coming down to. I'm not oh, kidding. For you. I think this is what this all is. 500 years, I was Look at it. He's giving a Sieg Heil. 
He's giving us seeing Heil. There's nothing left to me. I can't move on. Oh, my God. Now, I want you to know, notice the eyes transition from this, this here, to what we just saw. Okay, which is, uh, what is it? This. Look at the psychotropic drug medicated person that this person's become. Jeez. Look at this. Look at that. Those were the years when I tried so hard to fit in uh, into a cis normative expectations of what a real man should look and act like. But I've always miserably failed. That wasn't me. I never felt right. Jesus Christ. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my God. Dude, psychotropic drug eyes, dude. That's what's making these people, you know, kind of think that the irrational is rational. And I'm not just talking about this. I'm talking about, like, dumb shit, like more than two genders. And, you know, I'm going to be a, uh, what was it? A, a genderless alien. I wrote about that on Ghost Out Report several years back. You know, I'm a genderless alien. Summer of 2015, my dysphoria was really intense at the time. I was very frustrated and I wanted to be a girl so badly. I started realizing that I needed to come out that I couldn't stay frustrated any longer. <laughs> I mean, this guy really wanted to, uh, you know, to have his prostate massaged anally, obviously. Uh, I've considered publicly coming out as gender fluid so I could wear anything I ever dreamt about wearing. The frustration was about to end. It was about to end. Oh, no. Oh, my God, no. Dude, that's, now, that's AIDS infection or some shit. Dude, that, dude, did you see that? I mean, now look at this shirt. I mean, you at this point, I mean, you can see, like, the herpes sores in the face that this guy has been in cheeks and, uh, you know, uh, lick the, the chocolate starfish is all I'm saying. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh, my God. Why are you working out? Why are you working out if you're trying to be a woman? I mean, no offense, no offense. I'm sure some black woman that would watch this is like, look at this white privileged motherfucker. This motherfucker putting himself in front of motherfucking Niagara Falls. This motherfucker putting himself in other countries and shit. And this motherfucker doesn't even know if he a boy or a girl. Oh, Lord. Oh my god, look! Look! Look at the psychotropic drug eyes, dude! Oh, he likes wrestling. I wonder why. Uh, that was it. I was about to come out as gender fluid. I was scared to death. This was months of building up in my head to the decision to come out, but this genuinely was the best decision I ever made, choosing to live my life the way I want to. Yeah, going on Grinder with the fucking profile picture and the profile description, throat goat. You fucking idiot. Coming up, hold on, I, I fucking missed it, dude. Jesus Christ. Come, calm down, fucking, calm your tits. Uh, coming out as gender fluid was mostly about wearing whatever I wanted to wear without worrying about toxic gender norms. Uh, it wasn't a matter of identity at first. Yeah, because you don't know what the fuck you want! Uh, 
These were the very first selfies I ever produced wearing women's clothing while presenting in a masculine way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please, no. fucking break dude somebody did this person in their ass and and he loved it dude i mean give me a break that's what this all comes down to okay i mean listen the only way that those of us that don't like all this over sexualization of children and you know all this weird fucking acceptance of very bizarre interpretations of identity which is nothing more than sexual perversion i mean those of us that you know are not necessarily for all this shit we need to realize and we need to tell normies that look young children coming out as gay Young children coming out as trans. How the fuck do they know this shit? When I was a young child, I didn't even know about sexuality, let alone whether or not, you know, I was a fucking female or, you know, the only one, you know what gay is? Gay is not like being black, even though gay people like to equate that shit. Okay. All right. You could choose not to be gay, just like Milo Yiannopoulos. You know, remember about five or six years ago, he was like, oh, you know, Milo Yiannopoulos, I like taking black cock up my ass, all that shit. And now he's a reformed gay that is no longer taking schlong heads up the poop chute, and he quit being gay. You can't quit being black, okay? You can't quit being a Pajit. You can't quit being a Chinaman. You can't quit that shit. Okay, you could quit being gay. So what my what I'm trying to say is is how you combat this is by showing the perversion that it is. Any child that claims to be gay obviously got penetrated in their ass. Any uh, any child pretending that oh I want to do this I want to play girls sh- I, they they that was a learned thing that was induced and noticed at the beginning of this fucking video this person is saying that they he only mentions his sister and his mother I don't hear any father at all mentioned in any of this shit so I'm just simply stating that if if those of us that don't like the sexualization of children come out and actually identify what this is. It's not an identity, okay? Being gay is not an identity, okay? Do you mean to tell me that if you're a fucking loser and you need some social arenas, all you got to do is play the flesh flute and have somebody penetrate your fucking uh, sphincter and all of a sudden you belong to a group and all of a sudden you you now have the, uh, the clout to, you know, carry a rainbow flag and go to these fucking, you know, gay pride parades and shit. Give me a fucking break. It's perversion. Gay means that you like it up the poo-poo, you like to suck the pee-pee, or you like to lick the, uh, you know, the, the, the pig taco, okay? And that's all there is to it. There's no identity to it. It's sexualization. It's perversion. I mean, I'm not against people being gay. Dude, if you're a taxpayer and you don't infringe on anybody's rights and you don't break any laws, you could do whatever the fuck you want. But when you start pushing sexuality on children and you've got them believing that this is fucking identity or some shit, that's where society as a whole needs to stand up and say, wait a minute, we shouldn't be sexualizing children in any capacity, whether whether it's homosexual, lesbo, or hetero, okay? We shouldn't be doing this. And I'm sure that this person has probably been sexualized because, look, once again, I don't know this person. I'm just saying this from what they're showing us on this stupid video, then I didn't hear a father in that figure. So when mom was out, whether she was working or whether she was going out looking for Alabama black snake at Applebee's or whatever the fuck, socializing, whatever she was doing, where the fuck was this kid? 
Who is looking after this kid? And by the way, I'm sure that if we you know, sat down with this person and they were honest, they would tell us about a molestation situation where they found that somebody penetrated their, you know, their chocolate starfish and found some kind of gratification in that. That's what gay is. I'm tired of hearing about this. Oh, it's an identity. I have an identity. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, look at this. This is nuts. This is nuts. This is nuts. Look at this guy. He's out of his mind. Look at him. He doesn't know whether he's coming or going. This is pill-popping inducement. All right? This is psychotropic drugs. I guarantee you this kid had a shrink. I mean, give me a break. I mean, give me a break. I mean, this is a person that obviously wants to have very promiscuous gay sex, okay, and doesn't want to worry about the judgment of it. So what do gays do? They they come out as overtly gay and overtly stereotypical homosexual so that family and everybody that would judge him can't judge him because, hey, he's gay. He's proud. I mean, he's, he, you know, gay's the new black and all this shit. All right. Hold on, hold on. I got, I got to read some of these donos that are coming in. For Christ's sake, I'm just, I'm just trying to say that. Look, I don't care what people do. Just don't sexualize children, you fucking perverts. Put the p and that's heterosexual or homosexual. A child should have their innocence protected, and they shouldn't be exposed to any kind of sexuality, dude. Uh, anyway, High Council said ghost being gay isn't a choice. Multiple studies have confirmed this. Bullshit. That is bullshit. How the fuck do you know, as a child, that you like getting fucked in... uh, How the fuck do you know that? You don't, okay? As a matter of fact, as a child, you don't even know if you're heterosexual. You don't even know about sexuality. You learn it. You learn it by observing. If you have a mother and father, you observe them. And that's where you get your identity of sexuality, okay? Don't give me this fucking bullshit that, oh, we're born this way. and I, Bullshit. Here, play the rest of this transgender lunatic wannabe fucking idiot. Look at this. This is, this is lunacy here, okay? This is somebody who is, uh, like, mentally messed up and doesn't know what the fuck they're doing, why they're doing it. And by the way, we took a look at this video. I mean, this person was in front of Niagara Falls. This person was like at fucking Disney. It was, this person was all over the place. So this person had a very good upbringing. So this is the consequence of having a very good upbringing, pussy pampering your child, and they have no identity. They have no kind of, of integrity, of moral purpose. They have no reasoning of who they are. They have no understanding what they are. This is the consequence of this shit. I'll just stop and know it Look at this. Look at this. Walking the streets. All Look at go. this shit. Another night. I mean, the face gets crazier and crazier looking, doesn't it? The face gets crazier and crazier looking. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh! So they... Look at... Hold on, hold on. Go play, 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 play. play. Oh, look at all that. Doesn't that remind you of the sign of the times that we live in? This fucking piece of shit was not only... I'm telling you, some black bitch watching this is like, man, this motherfucking white privilege crack ass cracker going to Niagara Falls and doing all this motherfucking... Look at it. This motherfucker out here, instead of worrying about his shit, he be getting all the money and be paying, he paying for toys and shit. This motherfucker already like 25. And then he got toys and shit. And what the fuck is this white privilege motherfucker? That's why he don't know who he is. This motherfucker don't know shit. This motherfucker be playing with toys. He be in fantasy land and shit. Who's gonna take you home tonight? Who's gonna take you home? 
Okay, 2018, cutting your hair. Oh, oh my God. More and more crazy looking. More and I mean, they're more and more crazy looking. Oh my God. More and more crazy. Look at this. Look at this shit. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I, I think, I, I don't know this person, but this looks like already HIV AIDS infection and shit. I mean, this this person already looks like, you know, uh, mid-stage AIDS already, where it starts eating up your brain and it starts, uh, you know, manifesting in not only your physical look in your face, but in your actions as well. Ready, Oh no, HRT! By the way, somebody in the chat room said that these uh, hormone pills that people buy to transition are sixteen hundred bucks a pop. Uh, who, who? How the fuck? Who pays for that shit? I've never felt that confident before. Listen to this lunacy. Starting HRT was such a relief. Who's gonna take you home tonight? Who's gonna take you home? Oh my god. Does not Dude. Your I mean, they always say a picture's worth a thousand words. I mean, just take a look at this person's eyes. From a kid, you know, and then and remember I I you know, while we've been watching this, I've been uh stopping and, and showing, hey, look at this kid's eyes right here. It, you can tell that they're psychotropically drug induced, etc. And and it's just getting worse and worse. Oh my God. What kind of flag? Hold on. Is that the new gay flag or some shit? What the fuck kind of flag is that? Is that the new is that the new gay fucking flag? They added a black and a purple? What the fuck is purple representing? What the fuck is that supposed to represent? The queers? Like literally the Q and LGBTQ? Oh, that's a... Seriously, that's a pedo flag, or y'all just being trolls? Oh, God, dude. Oh, oh my been a God. Should have been a white. Should have been gone. Oh, my God, dude. This is disgusting, <laughs> dude. Oh, my God, dude. Hold on. And what is it, High Council? What the hell do you want again here? Ghost, why are you making all about sex, Hambo? And you're obsessed with it. I had a crush on a girl in second grade. Explain that never molested you sexualized this. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Just play the rest. You, couldn't you have been like a homosexual without having to go through all this? You look nothing like a woman. Oh, that's right. Non-binary. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? No, I'm non-binary. I mean, that is the most dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. I'm going to wear a dress, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a Fu Manchu fucking uh, uh, facial hair. I'm going to keep my pits. You know, I'm going to still look like a fucking man figure. I mean, dude, give me a fucking break, man. Good God! Oh my God! You tell us warriors, shut us to broad with good. Oh, good God, to no! Please, no! Helps you when a man by you can't find out. Hold on, we got another uh, dono here by uh, the Shekel Slave. Hey, I'm a Shekel Slave. Today's children are undergoing puberty much earlier than previous generations, some as early as 10, and it's rather scary because that's when they start demanding answers as they begin puberty. I wonder what they put in the school food. Well, you know, it's the microplastics, uh, it's the soy, it's it's a lot of shit, dude. It's a lot of stuff. 
But I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, shit. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll tell you something right now. The biggest contributing factor to all this lunacy is uh, psychotropic drugs. Yes. You want them to see you rock the city of the other day. It's just see your baggage. All the red never get just sick. No sun bar with close to which you get it in the whole day alone. I mean, you could see it in this person's eyes that they're on psychotropics all day long. Nearly four months on HRT, and I've never you been happier about myself. Jesus Christ. Oh, my Christ. Anyway, that was Art Hammond. You know, uh, I don't know why you fucking donated that, dude. That was uh, something that uh, those of us really didn't need to look at or watch. But, of course, you're Art Hammond. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, guys, it's me, Art Hammond. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and donate to you a little bit of something called uh, uh, transitioning. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, hitting a little bit of that binary ass and uh, <laughs> hook it up in there. I'd buy that oh, for dude, a God, dude, I was just about to fucking leave. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck is this? Hold on just a second. Uh, Marcus of a King Jew. Uh, said no. This uh, this one is one of the most amazing feats ever. Marcus of a King Chu requested this, and dude, uh, hold on just a second. I got I got to fucking sign in for this shit. I got to sign in for this guy. I was just about to fucking leave. You fucking jerk, dick. Jesus Christ! I was just about to fucking leave for Christ. Oh no. Dude, I hope Mark's not in here. All right, it, can any? I hope Mark Vaughn's not in here. I'm not. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I hope Mark Vaughn's not in here. Come on, Amy's. Fi- what the fuck? I know you are looking at my face. Ah! They are very beautiful and delicate, aren't they? They are very, very soft. I know what you want. This is on you fucking want YouTube. Feel my feet. You want to lick on my feet. Oh you want to God. sniff me on my feet. Dude. And all this. Dude, somebody is simping for this disgusting fucking ladyboy looking fucking drugged out piece of shit with fucking fungus on their feet and shit. Just I mean, this bitch has got athlete's foot. You're so horny. Now you can come closer and have a little oh bit taste my of God, my lovely dude. She, face. This is disgusting, dude. Oh, they are so Oh my good. She look at you see they how black those feet so are. So smelly. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Why Sniffing would you, Marcus of a King Chew? Why the fuck feet, would you fucking donate put something your whole like head this? Head in between my feet. I know you can't hold it anymore. Oh my God. I, can I, I can't. I can't watch you all this. I, to four minutes and I'm gone. Four minutes and I'm gone. You just can't. Please hold don't. Any don't call your Mark car into the chat room, dude. Harder and harder. I mean, okay, we're, we're, we're listening fine. to some lady boy you can take talk your about coke out. their stinky, disgusting, smelly, fungi-infested oh. foot. How hard are your car goes? Oh I can my see God. how horny you are while you're looking and sniffing on my feet. Oh my God, dude. I, I'm done. I'm, I'm, dude, going I'm, I'm to done. Give you I'm sorry. I'm done after treat this. Today. Oh! Like like Who called Mark in car? here, dude? But you never use your cock on my feet. What? What did this bitch say? So. The little treat today is... I'd buy that for oh, you. Dude, no. Listen, Thank listen. You. Stop fucking donating to me. Fucking Shadow Luigi, you fucking Cork asshole. around my feet. And you can rub your cock. Dude, Mark is saying he wants to pull the plug on Vaughn.live entirely because of this shit. That's and dude, it. what the fuck is living on this fucking dumb fucking ladyboy's foot? What the fuck is this? People get off to this? 
Don't be shy. That's what I tell you to do, and that's what you I mean, want people are getting off to this. Look at it. Mark's like, I'm paying for this okay, bad list. Okay, make sure your call so, is already. I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry. I just... Very, I get very it, dude. Is what I, I get it. I mean, you're looking at this, and I, I get it. And dude. I want it very big, and I want it very warm. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now put your. I don't think it's funny. Shut up. Right now, around. I'm looking at some fucking drugged out lady boy it. showing keep their disgusting, it, despicable feet. And. Put your cock in between oh my, God, my I can't, feet I, that's enough, dude. and rub it here like that. Keep rubbing. That's so that somebody's schlong head can have athlete's foot? I don't understand. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't get it. That feels so good, isn't it? I, I don't, I don't get it, dude. That make your cock going harder I mean, I almost want to throw up. I'm serious. I'm, uh, I can <laughs> feel the temperature oh, oh, Jesus Christ, of the I'm cock throwing just up. going up and oh. it's just getting oh, good so God. hot. Like a seasoning sausage. Oh my God! No, please Keep stop. Going. I'm, I'm gonna throw and up. And I will dude. squeeze it. I'm gonna throw the fuck up. <laughs> Keep rubbing. I'm, you I'm can just, rub I'm it waiting for four minutes and I'm moving well. on. I'm sorry. That feels nice. I'm not waiting for four it? minutes. Look, dude, Mark. Very hold on, Mark. Nice. Fifteen seconds, dude. I'm sorry. Very, very Some nice. asshole sure requested this. I was about to up. end the show. I was just about to end the show. No. All right, I take this, take this lady boy off, and take this your... fucking disgusting, despicable foot off of here, dude. All right, take this off. Take it off. Dude.